Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 uh, special episode because tonight we are in Halloween mode. So, on October 31st, every single year, one specific thing happens. You can get the End Times Axe. That's this axe that I'm holding right here. And I'm going to show you how. Uh, now, I would normally, like, go and try and find Spookwood. But today has been extended just for us. This is actually November 1st, and um, we are going to get an extra day because of the Roblox downage. So um, the music in the background, is, oh gosh, is gone and off. Um, I'm already going to take, hello, what are you doing? Jump around, get out your seat and jump around, jump around. Oh my gosh, hi code, hi buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off just because I need to I need to go. So I do I do apologize, I'm sorry. Um if you want to get the end times axe, it's the same quest as the rookie axe. Or the rookery axe. What you need is you need to come in here to Tom. Go get yourself a bag of sand, just like this. Drop it. Hi Tom. Hello, sir! What has happened to my beautiful shop? It happens every year, Tom. But I don't understand. Why is it all, all rusty and gray? I don't have time to talk today, Tom. But code, wait, no. Oh, wait. Try that again. Oh, wow. The, the lag is reals. Hold on. Oh, gosh. There we go. Ooh, boom. Oh, can I sign your base? I gotta go, dude. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What is that? Is that a dead tree or is that... Is that a spook tree? I think that's just a dead tree. Yeah, it's a dead tree. Dang it. Okay. Jump back in. It's always so creepy. You know? Like... What is that tree over there? What is that? I don't even know what kind of tree that is. Hold on. We'll go we'll go chop it. It it looks like it might just be a an oak tree, but I didn't think oaks were on the other side. I thought it was just walnut and uh Yeah, it's just walnut and oaks on that side. Hmm. Hold on. Let's go take a look here. No, that's a... Sorry, walnut and elms. This looks like an oak tree, though. No, oh, it's a cherry tree. Okay, cherry trees can, can blossom over here. They do that. Okay. And I'm still on the lookout for a sinister tree. And, by the way, in all my years of playing Lumber, I have never come across this industry. Oh, we got music! Oh, it's loud music, too. Fun. Oh, it's not that loud, is it? It's kind of loud. Okay. So, next, you need this light bulb. It's back there in the corner. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna talk to Cory. Hi, Cory. Hi, Code. Buy this light bulb for 2600 Yes. Oh, by the way, um, for one rookie axe or for one end times axe, you're going to need about 8000 It's like 7000 something, but for all the materials plus the TNT, um, it it takes that much. And I think I... Oh, and for the, the cost of going across the, uh, the toll bridge. That's about that. But, like I said, I do this tutorial every year because... Well, first off, because um, a lot of people just don't know. The other reason is I usually try and do this on the day of, but I, I never release until the next day. So that's a problem because nobody gets to see it on the day of. So this is pretty much making a tutorial for next year. So if you're if you're watching this and it's 2022, and you're, you're getting ready for Spookwood and stuff like that, next year, use this tutorial. It's like it's like doing... 
It's like doing a tutorial for the future. Oh, what's that? Hold up. Back it up. What kind of tree is that? Brown. That's a brown tree. It's brown. Ain't no sinister. <clears throat> oh, there was another one growing right there. Hold up. Gotta go look at the color of the bark. That's brown. Mm -hmm. The way you can tell right off the bat if, uh, if a sapling is going to be one is the uh, the color of the bark. It has to be black. And then depending on what kind of reflection you get or what kind of texture it's got, then you can tell if it's uh Hold up. Just looking I'm just looking around. Just looking around. Taking a peek. A quick little peek. And let's head back over to our base. Just make sure nobody's messing with us. If I start seeing like all my stuff flung all over the place, then we worried. No, we're good. Hey, buddy. There's somebody going up there. <laughs> Somebody's taking a selfie. You can take a picture. Hey, buddy. Hey, you coming with me? Code. Hi, bud. There you go. Oh, get back in the car. There you go. Yay. Hi, how you doing? What's going on? I, I love playing lumber and having people interact with me. Like, a lot of people in the comments all the time, they're like, Why are they so annoying? Why, are you, why is everybody trying to annoy him? It's not annoying. I promise it is not annoying. Yeah, you are in my truck, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Do, do, Whoa, why is there green grass here? Oh, look at that. There's a section that didn't change colors. Boom. Explosions. Whee. Here in my car, I feel safest of all. I can lock all my doors. It's the only way in, in cars. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> we need radios in the cars, in the trucks and stuff. Just have it play random radio songs. Or, like, could you imagine if you had, like, a radio playlist and you could, like, put together your own station? Now listening to Code 95.5 AM Radio. Yes, I said AM. Leave me alone. Do you want um or fum? Okay. Doesn't look like there's any trees around. So, what you need to do is you need to come over to this little corner right here. And we need to find the symbol. Where is the symbol? There it is. You can barely see it here, but that's it. That's the one. Boink. 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 Try not to open these before, oops, before getting them downstairs, just because, whoa, come on, there we go, just because you can lose the light bulb in the snow and stuff, and I, I never remember this order, I know that this guy is definitely ice cream, or light bulb, because it looks like an ice cream cone, uh, I think worms is here, and I believe broccoli is right here. Got it backwards. Oh, no. It worked. I knew it would work. There it is, and it's falling down. And if you grab it, it will fly with you through the town. And we can take it up above. There it is. <laughs> Look at it go. And I think... Whee! Can I write on it? Oh, hold on. If I grab it and turn it... Turn it sideways. 
Oh, I can't rotate. No rotating. Anyhow, that's how to get the end times axe. You can still play and have fun with the uh, the floating effects. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't fall. And it's got some lighting behind it as well. So Now, he removed this effect from the Rookie Axe, but the End Times Axe still is affected by the, uh, the floating effect. Whoa, wait a second. Can I push it? Can I just run into it and push? Oh! <gasps> No way. Hold on. Uh-oh. But you should have a good uh, seven minutes before... Can, can I throw it upwards? I kind of want to throw it straight up in the air. You know what? For the video. Oh, wait. No. Oh, it like stops at a sing single height. Up. It does not have a vertical hold or a vertical up and down. It's got a downward one, but just not up. It does not want to go up. <laughs> oh, wait, can I grab it now? Can I grab it? Oh, I can't, I can't grab it while I'm standing on it, of course. I wonder... Is it strong enough to hold something up? Hold on. Let's try. Let's try something real quick. Oh, did it end? I think it ended. Yeah, it, it ended. Oh, dang it. Anyhow. There you go. That is your tutorial on how to get the end times X. Next video is going to also be Halloween. Okay, so the video that you're going to see on Wednesday is also going to be a video of me hunting for spook wood. Because I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two videos because we got the extra day and um, try and just get, get another video of the hunt for the spook wood. But this has been your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Sorry, sorry, Danny. I just slammed into him. My bad. I'm sorry. Hey, buddy. Hi, Swag. Swag looks like he's going and getting himself some, uh, some palm wood. There we go. We'll just, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, 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 sorry. Here, here. I'll just... You need to move out of that spot. That's that's right where I'm going to be. Uh, there you go. All right, and we'll just I'll do that there, and boom. Thank you everyone for watching. Oh man, it's only been 13 minutes. That is fine. This is this is a tutorial, and my other one's probably going to be 15 minutes as, as well. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to subscribe, go for it. It is your choice, 100%. Don't let anybody ever fool you into subscribing to their channel. And Likes and comments are free. You don't have to pay for those. You know, if you want to join the membership and then it's like five dollars a month or something like that. I think I've got tiers, but I've I've never looked into it that much. I, I put some badges out there and there's no behind the scenes content because I mean what you're watching right now is exactly as it's done. Like I don't edit, I don't co curate, like I just jump in and start playing. So if you like that kind of video, go for it. Go and hit the subscribe button. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.
Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.